Hello, this is RV Vagabond Jerry, and today I'm going to take the 1880 steam engine train on the Black Hills Central Railroad from Hill City to Keystone, South Dakota. It's about a 10 mile train ride, and it takes about an hour to get there. So I'm leaving at 10 a.m get there at 11 and then I'm going to have about three hours to walk around and see the things to see in Keystone. Then at 2.30 the train loads up and comes back to Hill City. So this is going to be an unusual day for me. I've done this a few times before. So hop on board with the train with me and I'll show you some sights along the way and then some sights in Keystone. Forward. Three is back. That red car is, is a train specifically for cowboys to ride in when their cattle up. is then, boarded too onto too the train. There's they don't want them with the regular passengers I'm in because the they smell like cows. <laughs> As we leave Hill City and enter the Black Hills National Forest, note the markers lining the tracks along our journey. The black and white markers are milepost signs, area roughly the size of Delaware. Half of that is the Black Hills National Forest. The entire mountain range spans about 120 miles from the southern tip to the north and about 60 miles east to west. Hill City is almost at the exact center as a junction point for the railroad to Deadwood. During and after World War II, lithium was mined south of town and was used in nuclear power plants across the country. The lumber industry still thrives here, and thanks to the completion of Mount Rushmore in 1941, so does tourism. Season, which happens to be right now. So everybody, please do be careful with anything on fire. I know it looks pretty green, but it we're awfully dry. On the right hand side of the train you'll see the tall pole standing straight up crooked. So rail was put in for mining purposes. We go through some mining communities. There's a lot of private along our route because it was put in for mining purposes and these would have been mining planes. Yeah. Coming over there to the left, the concrete footings coming this way towards the track. That's the site of the Good Luck Tungsten Mine. We're going to cross the road again and we're going to be in Palmer Gulch. If anybody's at the KOA and Highway 244, slopes of the Rocky Mountains, they are completely separate formations. The two billion year old rocks you see around you are much older than the 20 million year old slopes of the Rocky Mountains. The next place we're going to get to here is Rick Mills. Rick Mills is a curator of the South Dakota State Railroad Museum. It's located in our train yard right at the end of an informed Battle Creek, which we'll go over beside our way down to Keystone. to tell you about the rolling stock that we have. An assortment of vintage rolling stock from numerous railroads around the country has been assembled at the 1880 train. An interesting combination of locomotives, passenger, freight, and maintenance cars have called Hill City home since the 1950s. We have a fleet of steam locomotives. The first is engine number seven. Nice job. Coming on down into Battle Creek Canyon. Down in here we cross the road quite a few times in a short while. A lot of whistling, even echoes down here in the canyon. It's called Time Camp. 
Yes, the blue plastic is a large slip and slide. They put the hose at the top and the dish soap and they can slide out the hill. I bet later today that all those kids though, I bet they'll be doing that. Camp is used year round, more so in the summertime, and from up where they're built late. But you'll notice how the rocks have a little bit of a sparkle to them. The sparkle in the rocks is duodenum mineral called Cassiterite, columbite, and tourmaline. A massive sheet metal structure was built here in the 1980s to reprocess the waste dumps of the Ingersoll mine. Here at Keystone, the engine has disconnected itself from the train cars and it's refilling itself on the water tank here. So now I'm going to walk around town and see what there is to see in Keystone. There's an Indian store, lots of restaurants, and I will be finding one for lunch in a little while. And I wonder what the daisy chain is. It's for sale. That helicopter I saw was probably from this helicopter tours place. Boss's Pizza and Chicken. Now, if they really have a buffet then I think that is where I will have lunch <laughs> I'm gonna check it out they have a really nice walking tour map of Keystone with all those numbered things to see just in a few blocks of walking and this shows what all the things are to see around town those numbered points this is a really huge antique store and this is a motorcycle I would not want to ride. <laughs> the gas tank doesn't look very functional, doesn't look very comfortable at all. This is the Holy Terror antique store. Here's some more things they have out front. Yeah, that's quite an antique. <laughs> Here's an interesting shop called Earth Treasures. Sorry, we're closed. And they have spoon rings. <laughs> if you know what that is, then you know more than I do about it. I like this. Land of the free because of the brave. And I've missed the Holy Terror Days Parade. I bet that was fun back then. This store has been here since 1895. And as a bonus, they have clean restrooms and free Wi-Fi. <laughs> Everything else is antique. Here's an old cabin they kept in good shape. These guys are still working on maintaining it. Here's a photo up in front of the Big Thunder gold mine sign. <laughs> They've got an RV park right here in the historic area of Keystone and by the way the elevation here is about 4300 feet and it got really nice and cool last night I didn't even need my air conditioner at all my bedroom cooled down to 72 degrees by midnight which is nice well the walking tour wasn't quite as interesting as I thought it would be oh well I'm gonna head back to the depot and find a place to eat. There's also these things to see and do. 
up the road here and there is a free museum <laughs> which is not yet open for the summer now this place I thought I would try for lunch they have burgers with 61 different toppings they grill it and you frill it so I thought I would try that I've always liked that idea uh, putting your own toppings on a burger and guess what day I'm here I'm here on a Monday <laughs> well the train is almost here to go back to Hill City it'll be coming right around the bend there It only goes about 10 miles an hour top speed, I think. They, un they unhook it here. And they take it down further to where they have that water tower and then add more water to their tanks there. Now I notice that there is no place for the engine to turn around. There's no turntable, which you normally see. So I think the engine is going to go down that right track there, go to the front of the train, but he's going to have to run that engine backwards all the way back down to Hill City. As the train pulls out of the station, look around at the granite peaks and thick ponderous forests that surround you. An army expedition led by George Custer turned up gold a few miles south of here in 1874. Within months, there were thousands of miners, mule skinners, bananas, gunslingers, and gamblers swarming across the landscape, eager to get their hands on some of the shiny yellow metal. The community of Keystone, like many towns in the Black Hills, tracks along our journey.
In the late 70s, the train was used in a made-for-TV movie entitled Orphan Train. The 1880 train has been featured in a music video called Love Train and in a CMT special. It was also used in the filming of a Steven Spielberg TV miniseries entitled Into the West. Central in 1998. Coach number 140, Mystic, was also rebuilt as an observation car in into Hill City now. By the way, this is the fourth train video I've done like this. One in Texas, one in Branson, Missouri. One in Silverton, Colorado, and this is my fourth. Well, folks, I hope you've enjoyed the train ride. And here we're pulling into the depot. And right here next to the Hill City Depot, we have the South Dakota State Railroad museum so if you're really into trains you'd like that as well hope you enjoyed the video please let me know good day folks